we're going to go closer to Saturn than any instrument or spacecraft has ever gone before. We're going to go inside of the rings. And that's going to allow us to make measurements of the internal field, which is a bit strange. What we've seen so far is it's not what we expect. And the other thing that's quite embarrassing is we still don't know how long a day on Saturn is. You know, people say, you've been in orbit for 12 years. How can you not know how long a day is? But the reason for that is there's this, this signature that we're seeing in the data that's essentially masking the effect from the interior. And we think a day is about 10 and a half hours, but we're not quite sure. So that's one of the things we want to try and understand. But it's really we're, we're going inside of the rings. And the first few orbits, we've got 22 of those really close orbits. And the first couple of orbits, what we're going to do is, as we, as, as we move down towards the ring plane, we're going to be going with the high gain antenna, which is that white umbrella that you can see in the background. That's going to be moving in the direction of travel, just in case there's something there. We hope that will protect the instruments as we're going through the ring plane. And depending on the data that we get, we might have to raise the altitude of the subsequent flybys if the um, atmosphere is denser than we think, because we don't want to tumble and crash. We want to keep on going until the 15th of September.